welcome you all hope you all are doing well we were studying the second chapter which is introduction to access 2016 or microsoft access 2016 there we had studied about dbms or database management system so this is the block diagram of database management system creating a table access 2016 allows you to create a table in two ways using the data set view or the design view data set view the data set view displays the table in a grid of rows and columns each intersection of a row and column creates a cell where you enter data design view the design view displays the various fields in a table with their properties you can use the design view to modify the structure of a table it does not let you enter any data in a table creating a table using data set view let us understand the steps to create a table in data set view with the help of an illustration so illustration 1 to create a table named cars with the field as son and add data in it so you can see there is a field names and what are the data type the model name car name company engine displacement mileage auto number sort text sort text number number so this is how we will be creating a data set for a car on the first point on the create tab in the tables group click table you can see figure 2.18 a new table with the field id appears which is figure 2.19 then double click the field name id and change it to model name then click the down arrow next to click to add field then a drop down list of data types appears then select sort text access adds a new field that is field 1 in the table click to add field is moved to the third column then rename field 1 as car name then repeat step 3 to 5 to add remaining fields with the specified names and data types now click the first cell under car name and type alto k10 the value 1 appears in the model number field a pencil icon appears in front of the row that indicates that the record is being edited now press the tab key to move to the next field type the values under the fields company engine displacement and mileage respectively okay then press the tab key a new blank record is added to the table enter four more records as shown in the image you can see in figure 2.24 in your book and you can see the car name and the manufactured company then what is the engine displacement and what is the mileage then click the save button on the quick access toolbar then the save as dialog box opens type the name car in the table name text box and click the okay button access saves the table in the database its name appears on the table tab as well in the navigation plane under tables modifying the table design after creating a table you can make changes to its design in the data set view you can add delete rename move hide display or change the data type of field adding a new field you can add more fields to a table as desired to add a new field to a table first one in the navigation plane double click the table name in which you want to add a field the table opens in the data set view in the document window then click the column header of the field to the right of which you want to add a field on the table tools field in the add and delete group click the data type for the new field access adds a new field to the table then type a name for the inserted field so you can see in your book the 
figure 2.27 20, and 2.28 you can understand how the modifying of a table design is done deleting a field you can delete fields from a table not required anymore to delete a field from a table first of all open the table from which you want to delete the field click the column header of the field you want to remove on the table tools field tab in the add and delete group click the delete button a message box displaying a warning appears click the yes button access deletes the field from the table how to rename a field you can rename fields to make them more descriptive to rename a field first double click the header of the field you want to rename then Type the new name and press enter. Access renames the field. Moving a field. You can move fields to re rearrange them in a desired order. To move a field, select the field you want to move. Drag the column header of the field to left or right and drop it where you want to place it. Access moves the field to the new position. Hiding or displaying a field. You can hide fields to temporarily prevent them from display on the screen. You can later display the hidden fields to make them visible again. To hide a field, click the column heading of the field you want to hide. On the home tab in the records group, click the more button. A menu appears. Then click hide fields. Access hides the selected fields from the data sheet. You can see in figure 2.34 how the hiding of a field is processed or done. To display a hidden field, on the home tab, in the records group, click the more button. A menu appears. Click unhide fields. The unhide columns dialog box opens. It displays all the fields in the table. Mark the check boxes for the fields you want to unhide and click the close button. Access displays the selected fields in the data sheet. Changing the data type of a field. To change the data type of a field, click the column header of the field whose data type you want to change. On the table tools fields tab, in the formatting group, click the data type down arrow. Then a list of data appears. Select the required data type. Access changes the data type of the field. Aggregating data in a data set. Access provides a totals features that allows you to add a total row at the bottom of the dataset. It lets you calculate and display various aggregate values such as count, sum, average, maximum or minimum for different fields in a dataset. To display aggregate values for the field, open the table in dataset view. On the home tab in the records group, click the totals button. A total row appears below the row in the data sheet. In the total row, click the field for which you want a total to appear and click the down arrow button. A drop down list opens. Click the functions you want to use for the field. Access displays the result of the calculation as per the selected function. To remove a total row, on the home tab, the record groups, click the totals button. The total row is removed from the bottom of the data sheet. Sorting and filtering records in a data sheet. Sorting records. Access allows you to sort the records sorted in a table based on one or more fields, either in ascending or descending order. Sorting of data makes it easy to compare values in different records in a table. By default, Access sorts records on the basis of ID field. To sort records in a table, to, to sort records in a table, open the table in dataset view. Click the column heading of the field on which you want to sort the data. You can see figure 2.42 is help is showing how to sort records. On the home tab in the sort and filter group, click ascending to sort the data in ascending order, smallest to largest, and descending to sort the data in descending order. Access sorts the data as per the selected option. 
to remove shorting from records on the home tab in the short and filter group click remove short access remove shorting from all the records and displace the data set in its original state filtering records access allows you to filter records in a table that meet a specified criteria the filtered records are displayed while the other records are temporarily hidden from the view once the filtered records are displayed you can edit and navigate the records just as you would without a filter applied to filter records in a table open the table in dataset view select a field on which you want to apply the filter on the home tab in the sort and filter group click the filter button in figure 2.445 a menu with a checklist appears then click the select all checkbox then mark the checkbox for the value you want to see for the field in the data sheet click the okay button then access applies the filter access applies the filter and displays the records which satisfy the filter condition a filter icon op appears in the column heading of the field indicating that it has a filter applied <laughs> filtering by selection filtering by selection allows you to filter records in a table by selecting specific data and displaying records that are similar or dissimilar to it to create a filter from a selection select the cell or data you want to apply a filter on on the home tab in the sort and filter group click the selection drop down arrow a list of filters appears select the type of filter you want to apply access applies the specified filter on the records to remove a filter on the home tab in the sort and filter group click the toggle filter button access removes the filter and displays the data set in the original state searching for data access provides a search box to quickly search for a specific data or record in a table to search for data click in the search box at the bottom of the work area and type the data you want to search access highlights the corresponding characters in the first record that matches your search data press the enter key to move to the next matching record deleting the data from the search box to end the search Ex exiting access you should exit access once your work is finished to exit access click the cross or close button in the title bar